Hello, I'm showing you Windows 8 boot times on my custom built Core 7 920 uh, desktop. So, this is a Core 7 920 quad core processor clocked at 2.67 gigahertz. We have 60 gigabytes of 600 megahertz RAM and a uh, conventional Seagate 7200 RPM SATA 3 gigabit per, 3 gigabit per second hard drive. Um, so, nothing too fast. So, we have, I have my iPhone stopwatch. Start it right as I press the power. And you'll definitely see Hyper-V kicking in. Um, this monitor, the monitor takes a while to find the source and the motherboard doesn't uh, boot all that fast. There's a winner developer. And... Done. 24.7. Pretty fast. Um, way faster than booting in Windows 7. Uh, much faster than Ubuntu. I had Ubuntu installed on the machine before I loaded the developer preview. So this is the very first developer preview they released today at about 6 p.m. Um, Pacific Standard Time. Just got it loaded. It's a 3.7 gigabyte ISO. Burned it to a DVD and it installed in about uh, 10 minutes. So there is the uh, here's the lock title or lock picture as they call it and you just you swipe this page up kinda like you would do on a um, Android tablet and you can enter your login info and from there it takes about two seconds to load the new Windows start panel so it's pretty fast and um, it would just be even faster with a different BIOS or sorry a different motherboard and a SSD so Hyper-V is a very cool technology and I hope it gets implemented into other uh, hopefully it's, its source code isn't taken by Microsoft and it can be used for other programmers such as Mac. I can see it as my Mac Pro. I would like to see that on there, but uh, you never know. It's probably copyrighted and stuff, So, but I thought I'd just do this video and show you how fast Windows 8 boots on a pretty, not standard, but a kind of well-built computer. Uh, has mostly to do with the hard drive. So, pretty fast on a conventional hard drive. Thank you for watching. Goodbye.